Okay, let's see, is it recording here? Record. All right. I have had this camera for a long time. It's the um, RX 105 4K. It's like pristine. All right, somebody on YouTube asked me to shoot a quick video of the uh, Masalong Ghostly Claw Outdoor Camping Tactical Karambet Marshall Claws Knife M121 Black. I thought I ordered a different color, but it's okay. So it comes in this box, magnet lid. Kind of cool. Keep that. Here we go. I didn't even unbox it. I didn't even unwrap it or nothing. So this is the first time. This is like the hoboist unboxing video ever. So bubble wrap. Get rid of that. Simple box, but it's a good box. Rugged. Okay. Here is the knife. Kydex sheath. This clip is really awesome. So this is like a really good deal. These clips are expensive by themselves. They're fully adjustable with all the screws. We're going to adjust it uh, like I'm going to try to adjust it. I'm going to find um, a bit somewhere. I think I have a bit right here. Maybe. There we go. I got this Dremel um, screwdriver on for clearance, but let's look at the knife. This is kind of cool. I already have one of these on my belt, which I'll show you in a minute, for my flashlight. But I like it because this opens it. You flip this over here, and then when you're moving around, it won't open up, right? It won't open. You gotta move the slider. And the way I use it on my belt, it hangs. So I put it from the top down, which you'll see. I'll show you that. Um, okay. So knife comes out, and I mean, it wasn't expensive, it was really cheap. We're going to see. It's like wrapped in cellophane. Don't try not to cut myself. We're going to get a... Paper towel. I'll wipe this off. It's all covered in shipping oil. Smells like China. Just kidding. Kidding. So, D2 steel does have a little little choke up choil there. I'm always weary about putting my finger too close to the blade, so I do like this more like a like a guard, right? If you're cutting something, you're not you're not sliding your hand up and then it has this nice big huge jimping right there. That is some massive jimping, but I like doing this. So, there's some Certain blades that are for fighting or defense that have the edge on the on the top. I am too used to this. I'm this kind of knife guy. Thumb on the back. You know, guiding it, right? And I also love, even though this ring is for, you know, just securing it, but drop hand, tool work, pick it back up, cut cut some things um, 
This is a it's kind of a talon. Let me zoom out a little bit. There we go. This kind of talon blade is really nice because when you're cutting something, it gathers it, right? I don't even know if it's sharp, but let's stab something. Oh, I mean, nope, it's not that sharp. It's okay. Initially, can be forced through the paper towel. Um, yeah, they didn't send it too sharp. That's fine. I have Spyderco Sharp Maker set, so I'll do that. So let's see how it fits without the. Um, plastic, it locks in pretty good. Oh, it's got a drain hole. I just noticed right there. Look at that. You can see the blade right there. That is actually pretty cool. So if you've got this in a downward carry, or I guess that also prevents a vapor lock from happening. And if it was to seal or something like that, that would be good. All right, let's work on this real quick. Make, not make this video too long. So I told the guy <clears throat> in the video that these pieces right here, these bars can be adjustable. But what we want to do is we want to pop them out. Okay. Because I have a blue alpha gear belt and it's wide. It's this wide. And right now, this is set up so that you would wear it uh, right handed, right? So, right handed. And what I want to set it up is I want it left handed in front of me, abdomen carry, so I can pull it out with my left hand because I'm left handed. Okay? And I want to put it. Um, right on the old, under the old fat ring right there. So, we're going to check it out. That's how you do it. Do this. Do this. I'm gonna lift these off here. They come out all the way. Let's see. I'm gonna have to give it a little force, I think. Okay. Almost out. There we go. Okay. Get off there. So, this has, I noticed it has some little rubber grommets, which is cool. Those came with the kit also. Um, so, we're gonna put this on our belt like this, or we're gonna have to put it on like that, of course. Sorry. And we're gonna wanna put it. So, this is like this. Does that make sense? So it's like that. So we're going to put this on here. We're going to put these little babies right here. I'm going to put these on. Our little cool nuts that go through. Those actually recess. I got my fingers on it. Nice. So easy. I'll get this little start. That's how you know it's done. I just let it spin in my handle, or in my hand, my handle. Okay, look at that. 
Okay, moment of truth. Let's see if I can get it on my belt. Let me turn this up here. Okay. So, we're going to take the belt here. Blue Alpha. So it's like a two inch belt, inch and a half. I gotta see where this, there we go. Put that on there. Lock it. So I can adjust this anywhere I like and it will not be comfortable to sit on but I can move it to the side perfect I also have so there you go with that and then I run this sideways this is my Olight M2R Pro Warrior Warrior Pro I run that sideways over here, and there you go. So that's too far for left, but if I'm walking, I got this on, and I'm being loose about my stuff. It's not printing, thanks to my fatness. Or just cutting something. Put it back in. It's the tricky part. You gotta guide it from the top. Well, that's snug. Perfect. Underbelly carry. There you go. I'll upload that video now. And then I'll reply to that gentleman who said he liked to see the knife, and I'll put the right name in the video. Alright. Peace.